Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be updating my frame generation guide for Wu Chang Fallen Feathers. We'll show you how to use Intate model of FSR 4 upscaler in conjunction with XCSS frame generation. We'll use OptiScaler mod to achieve this. I'll test the game on my ROG Ally that comes with Windows 11. Radian 780M GPU based on RDNA 3 architecture. I tested the launch version of this game. It was running very poorly on ROG Ally. The game uses Unreal Engine 5. Game was stuttering like crazy. VRAM usage was close to 7 GB, most probably higher than that, causing the game to stutter aggressively. Game has received many updates since its release. It has been optimized, consumes less VRAM now. We'll see the performance. In-game FSR 3.1 upscaler produces a very ugly looking image quality. Very aggressive shimmering is produced around the vegetation. I would not recommend using it. Game does support FSR 3.1 frame generation. We'll be using it as the frame generation source for XCFG in OptiScaler mod. This way, we won't be required to deal with hardfix. Game's UI elements, they won't flicker with XCFG enabled. I'll be using the latest preview 8 version 0.920260106 build of OptiScaler mod. It's available on their Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description. Click on the .7G link here. FSI SDK was leaked 4 months ago. It included files corresponding to the end date model of FSI 4. These files could be used to compile and FSR DLL, big thanks to Reddit user Athlete Dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Click on the go file link here. From this page, just download AMD Fidelity FX Subscaler TX12.TLL file by clicking on download here. Now I'll install the mod. Open the mod's archive file. Select the highlighted files optiscaler.ini, mod's configuration file optiscaler.tll, mod loader file, libxcss underscore fg.tll xcss frame gen file libxcss.tll xcss super resolution file libxcll.tll xcss low latency mode file fake nv api.ini fake nv api.tll fake nv api is required for using xcll with xcfg enable select all of the dx12 versions of fidelity fx files frame generation file is optional right click copy this frame generation file is for fsr frame gen i won't be using it Open your PC Game Pass library, select Wuchang, click on the three dots here, click on manage, click on files, click on browse, open the games install folder, open content folder, open project underscore plague folder, binaries folder, win GTK folder, paste everything here, replace the existing file. Now we just need to change the name of optiscaler.dll file to dxgi.dll. Select the file, right click, rename, type TSGI. I won't be using any of the in-game TLSS settings, so I'll just disable OptiScaler's TXGI spoofing feature. In this directory, just look for a file name OptiScaler.ini. There it is, open it, mods configuration file. Scroll down until you find spoofing section. There it is. Under this section, look for a line named TXGI and just set it to false. Click on file, click on save, close. Now I'll install the intake model of FSR 4 upscaler. Just copy its AMD Fidelity FX upscaler TX12.tll file that you downloaded from GoFiles website. Copy. Paste it in the games install directory where you install OptiScaler mod right next to the games main exe file in this directory paste override done this game's profile won't pop up automatically in adrenaline software i'll show you how to access the game's adrenaline settings need to create a desktop shortcut for the game's main exe file which is present in this directory where you install optiscaler mod in my case this is the directory so just select the game's main exe file right click show more options send to desktop create shortcut now we need to add this shortcut file to adrenaline software manually there's the shortcut file just open adrenaline go to its gaming section click on the three dots here click on add a game click on desktop look for the game shortcut and there it is project play select it click on open open the game's adrenaline profile I have enabled FreeSync and vSync. 
For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to 5 GB. My LS running on BIOS version 3.4.2. Install LS latest official GB driver optimized for Black Ops 7. Using a 27 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 27 watts. Resolution set to 720p. CPU boost disabled. I have connected my FlyDG Beta 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode X input controller. I will be running the game in Xbox full screen experience mode. Just start it Ally. Open internal lens software by pressing the hotkey combo Alt and R. I will use internal lens performance overlay to show you the performance stats. Here it is. Click on performance here. Overlay enable metrics. Open the game's internal lens profile. Launch the game from here. Display mode set to borderless windowed required for using XCFG 720p resolution. Motion blur and depth of field disabled. Advanced graphics settings. I have set the over sampling resolution value to 66, which corresponds to the quality preset of FSR. Unfortunately, irrespective of the value used for over sampling resolution, ultra quality of FSR upscaler is used in this game, at least on ROG LR. Frame generation disabled for the time being. Sharpening level set to nil. Over sharpens the image. If you want to adjust the image sharpness, just use OptiScaler mod. Rest of the settings set to low. Jump into the game. Current location, worship size. Once the game loads up, open OptiScaler menu. There it is. Just need to press the insert keyboard key to open the menu. I'll increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu US scale. Value set to 1.2. Upscaler used XCSS 2.0.2 input in game FS upscaler DXJS spoofing it's off auto express setting on I'll just enable OptiScaler's performance overlay expand FPS overlay section check this setting FPS overlay enable full plus graph scale 1.3 frame generation disable for the time being I'll switch to FSR 4 upscaler click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler Select FSR 3.x as the option. Click on change upscale again. Yeah, intake model of FSR 4 is working. You can check the base resolution value at the bottom of the mod menu 960 by 540 pixels upscale to 720p 1.3 resolution scale ultra quality preset of FSR. And model setting here is set to default, which automatically selected. Model 1 for me, correct model is being used. Model 1 corresponds to the in game of scaleless quality or ultra quality preset. I am using ultra quality preset. See why I close. Yeah, there is a character. It's a souls like action role playing game in which we play as Bai Wu Chang, a female pirate with amnesia in a dark version of late Ming Dynasty China plagued by a monstrous feathering disease. Okay, here FPS is within a range of 34 to 40 and look at that VRAM usage 4.3 GB Moving the camera slowly Can be some Ghosting. Yeah, it's present especially when there are some trees behind our character This game is not very upscaling friendly image quality looks bad even with DLSS upscaler Unreal Engine 5 for you. Yeah, there is some ghosting when I spin the camera. Should not be observable when you move the camera at a normal speed like this. 30 to 34 FPS during combat. Excessive stuttering is not present. Vegetation is looking pretty average. With the in game FSR 3 upscaler. Very ugly shimmering will be produced around the vegetation. Animation quality is looking a bit choppy. It's expected outside allies VR range 48 to 120. The FPS never drop below 30. Yeah, there was a stutter for half a second. Game seems to be playable on ally now. Performance is way better now compared to what it was at launch. Yeah, there is the ghosting. In-game FSR frame generation. 
will make the ghosting effect look more aggressive I'll take out this guy then enable XCFG okay open the mod menu click on the drop down bar next to FG source select FSR 3.1 FG as the option click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option if you want to use FSR frame generation just use the in game setting save and I close before restarting the game just enable in game FSR frame generation advanced graphics settings frame generation just set it to on upscale set to FSR exit launch the game from adrenaline first time launch with XCFG can crash the game restart it once the game loads up open OptiScaler menu check this setting active under XCFG this will enable XCSS frame gen check debug view setting here yeah, if XCFG is working you will see these purple side paths flickering can observe the right amount of smoothness uncheck the setting check the setting show detected UI should highlight the game's UI elements pink in color C complete display should not be highlighted pink in color otherwise the smoothing effect of XCFG won't work properly uncheck this setting under frame rate section current method mention is XCLL XCSS low latency mode here yeah, this game does support reflex I think OptiScaler mod was able to replace it with XCLL I'll check this via XCSS inspector app check out the game's performance first enable return lens performance overlay there it is FPS it's close to 60 check out the real world input delay I was expecting the latency to be much worse than this considering the base FPS was close to 30 but this seems to be playable not observing any significant artifacts around our character minor ghosting is caused by temporal upscaler UI elements they are not flickering as expected VRAM usage close to 4.5 GB FSR4 upscaler cause it's around 3 milliseconds animation quality it's looking much smoother than before quickly clear the area older builds of OptiScaler mod were causing the game to crash whenever I tried enable XCFG using this way in game FSR 3.1 as the frame generation source everything is working now 60 to 70 FPS Oh no, step into the fire took some damage there character shadow yeah it's not flickering during fast visual motion looking for the next shrine face spot go this way barely any stuttering is produced now on ally waterfall shrine is right above me another guy used heavy attack oh my god storm the guy almost there image quality is looking decent sharp enough this is not native 720p shrine is nearby almost there there it is made it good experience on raw gallery before ending the video I'll just use XCSS inspector app to verify the status of XCSS features minimize the game switch to windows mode 
Open Inspector app using Run as Admin. Yes. Select the game from here. Double click. XCSS frame generation context. Yeah, it's running. XLL context. Low latency mode. Yeah, it's on. You can see the valid frames getting generated. Good to see. That's it with the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.